this is Brie from Doubles or Nothing. I wanted to do a what's in my Delphonics pouch video. Um, I love watching these videos, so I thought I'd make my own. This one is like super, super stuffed. I was very proud of myself for being able to close it for the start of this video, though. It's never closed because I'm always, always in it. And this was actually a gift to me from my sister, Deb, who runs my shop with me. And she's just super, super sweet. And she thought that I would love this. I didn't even know how popular they were when she sent it to me. Um, we're both just really into artsy stuff and planners and she knew I'd get a lot of use of it and she knew that I loved this mustard color of yellow. So she sent this to me because she's so sweet. And I am just gonna show you what I have in it. So this is kind of my everything pouch. I use it for um, pretty much anything I'm doing paper crafting or planner stuff. Uh, so I just always have it on me so it has a huge mix of stuff. Um, and drinking a Dasani. Have you guys tried this before? This Dasani Berry. It is so good. It's just like the LaCroix except these were on clearance at my store and I don't know why because they're not even close to expired. But these are amazing. If you like like the fizziness of like a soda or kombucha but don't want to drink soda, these are amazing. So I think I'm just going to start with the outside pockets. That seems easiest. Um, so here I have, I don't know if you guys have what you know about Delphonics pouches, but this is the medium size and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven outside pockets plus three of these little um, like pen pocket things. So um, this patch on the front is from Happy Scrappy. My sister also actually gave me this and Happy Mail before I had this pouch, I believe. And then some just random pins. I don't know where they're from. Just random stores. When I see a cute pin, I'll put it on here. And then this pin is from Catnip Illustration. I'm trying to make sure you can see it. This is super stinking cute. It's a little octopus. She makes the cutest little kawaii animals. I love them. Um, so in this first one here, I actually just got these little tabs. Um, these are from Ashley Lay Designs. And I follow her on Instagram and I saw that she was putting up, she had a bunch of ready to ship items and I do not have anything from her or did not until this, but everyone loves her stuff and I can see why. These are like super high quality and they're ones you can like remove and um, move from planner to planner. So I love these. I'm afraid if I take everything out, I won't be able to fit it back in. So, oh, here's one that I had out. Yeah, they're super tiny and really cute. I think there's a bigger size too. I just got the small ones. And then I have these um, highlighters, very popular highlighters. And actually, this is getting absurd, but I'm looking around and so much of this is gifted to me from that same sister. She just loves to gift me stuff and she's just so sweet. So I have three of these in here. This pen, um, I just got this actually in Happy Mail from Dakshina. She's also here on YouTube, I'll link her down below. Um, she just sent me some Happy Mail and she sent me this pen in it and I don't know anything about it. I mean, it says Typo, which I believe is like, we have a store, a Typo store in the Mall of America, so I'm assuming it's the same thing. Um, but it writes so well. It writes so, so well. It's beautiful. And it's really pretty because it has all these glitters in it. So just a warning, I'm going to talk a lot. I love stationery and stationery supplies and this is just like, this is my happy place, so. Um, I keep a couple mild liners in here at all times because I love these so much and my daughter likes to borrow these so I kind of keep them with me everywhere. I have um, one set of, what are these, Papermate Flare pens. I don't like love to write with felt tip pens um, for like general stuff but I really love these for accents. Also sent to me by my sister. These are like the, I cannot remember what box these are from, what package these are from, what it's called. I will, I will link it though. But these, these all came together in one package. They're super pretty. And there's actually one more pink too, but I was writing with it upstairs. So and then I have these, I just have not decided where to put these yet. These also came in that happy mail from Dakshina. Look how cool those are. She made um, my name and vinyls. I love them. This um, little pen, pencil case, pouch, Man, I'm saying the wrong word. Um, this is from Mother Me and I. And I follow her on Instagram. Saw she had these listed and I am obsessed with Spice Girls. So 
well, you know, I was in the 90s. I guess now not so much, but they're awesome. So I keep some of my favorites in here that I just really don't want to lose. Um, like this microperm pen. Um, this one is great for writing on stickers or washi tape. And then this Zensations one. I actually got this in a boho berry box a few months ago. I'm trying to remember. Sometime last year. But this is like super, super tiny, writes super fine. I love it. It says 0.3. It actually feels even smaller than that, so I really, really love it. A Sharpie, and then Uniball Signal. I like this pen a lot. I got it because it was on clearance. Um, it's not my favorite, but I do still like it because it's a really solid gel pen. And then I keep tweezers in here for uh, picking up stickers and such. So in this back pocket, I I don't usually use these so much because they kind of just take away from my space inside the pouch. But I have a power cord for my Canon Ivy, which is in here. And yeah, I guess that's it in there. And then this little Simply Gilded pouch from, I cannot even remember which one, one of the recent subscription boxes. And I keep some of my stickers in here that I want to use up or have started. And so I want to just, um, I don't want to like grab a new sheet without using these up first. So some date dots and days of the week stickers, checklists, things like that. Yeah, a lot of date covers and things that I've started so I want to use them up so I don't have a bunch of partial sheets laying around. But I just keep them in here so they don't get bent. Alright, then on the inside. Let me see the best way to do this. Okay. So I have another one of those pouches, the identical one. Um, I actually got this as a part of like a huge pouch group on um, a set, I guess, on a buy sell trade group. So that's why I have two identical ones. But this is where I keep um, a whole bunch of washi samples. I kind of, it's just so nice to have them on these. Then I can carry them with me everywhere. Some of them are like simply gilded washi that. My sister got and I didn't get, so she sends them to me, and then the ones I get, I send to her. So we kind of just split them um, when they when there's new releases, but we don't want to spend the money on all of them. And sometimes it's just like a box. Like this is a certain box, this is a box, a subscription box that I didn't get, and this is one. And then I have some of the thinner washies in here too. Like the really, really thin three millimeter and Man, what's this one? I think this one's like a two millimeter, actually. It's really tiny. And some tabs. These are tabs that I made with my Cricut, just for fun, like some glitter tabs. And then a couple sheets of watercolor tabs. Let me see. There we go. They were actually just, there we go, just Bible tabs. It came with like books of the Bible, and my kids use them for their Bibles. They painted their own tabs. And then all the blank ones that it gave on the end, like they didn't really have use for those, so they let me take them so I can use them in my planners. All right, and then pouch number two is, <coughs> excuse me, this is why I have this. Man, that's so good. Okay, pouch number two is another Simply Gilded pouch full of washi tape that is still on the roll. Maybe because I am going to use so much of it, there's no point in putting it on a washi um, card, sorry, um, or like some of the newer ones I just haven't had time to put on a washi card yet. Um, they're actually, I think they're exclusively, yep, yeah, they're all Simply Gilded washi in here. Um, and these four are mine that I just put up in my shop today, actually. So there's those, which actually if I put those on cards, I would have a lot more space, so I should probably do that. And then this is one more. Simply Gilded Pouch. These things are amazing for stuff like this, like keeping everything organized in here. And this I just have sticky notes that I like tend to go for. Um, these are the... Avery like stickery sticky ultra tabs that you can like remove and move around. I really like them because they don't leave adhesive behind, but they also stick really really well. 
So there's those. And then I have some of my favorite sticky notes. These ones from, there we go, from Shine Sticker Studio. This one from Bunny Plans. These are those translucent ones from Office Max that I absolutely love. Oh, that's even two of them. Maybe. Yeah, these ones are awesome. They're like super see-through. It's pretty much transparent, actually. And then these ones from the Fox and Pip. I like these for listing. And then I can like, they have a tab so I can just easily find them again. Those are really nice. Then I have a pair of scissors in here. Then I have my Canon Ivy in here. Um, I use this for just uh, putting pictures usually of special events in my planner. Um, like when my dad and stepmom and little sister came over, I got pictures of her playing with my kids. Or like my son just had his first birthday yesterday, so I got pictures of that. I keep this little <laughs> New Testament um, Bible in here. I got this for free at a thrift store when I was visiting my sister in Idaho. And I just love it. It's super old. I found, um, man, someone wrote in it. Like signed their name. 1952. And then they put their favorite verse in here. I just thought that was so cool. So I put my name and where I got it and what date, 9-7-19. Yeah, I really love this. And then, what's those pockets? And then in this one, I just keep my um, Tombow adhesive tape runner. I got this from a Boho Berry box. Um, this is really, really good. It's amazing. The one I used before this was, I cannot remember what brand it was. But it, I got it because it was on sale at like Joanne Fabrics or something, but it was horrible. And so I was like, well, these things are so stupid. Why do people love them? No, the Tombow ones are amazing. And actually the exact same thing with this. So um, this tape runner is the Tombow Mono Correction Tape. And this works amazingly well. It glides perfectly. Before this, I had this like bright orange Bic one and it was horrible. And so I thought that these runners, like these white out things were horrible. No, it's just the brand, so. Combo is awesome for everything, of course. And then here I keep some extra washi cards so I can um, quickly put washi on them. Like I keep these nicer ones from like Simply Gilded and put them um, in here. So if I want to give like some happy mail and I want to add some washi, I can just do it on one of these nicer ones. I like from a big adhesive sheet, I cut down some cheaper washi cards that I use for like my own. Um, let me see. Like this one, I cut myself just to put, um, my sister bought this Shine Sticker Studio washi tape and I wanted to put it on here and keep it with me so I put it on like one of these much more flimsy ones that I use these for dashboards. This plastic, I use it for dashboards in my planner. So those are not, those are not like nice ones I wanna like send off to people. And then, oh, and then I just have some washi cards um, that I also got, it's actually Starbucks gift cards that I got from Dakshina on the Happy Mail. And I have one more, I think it's in one of my planners because she gave me one more, but she sent me so much washi tape and it's all so pretty and all ones that I don't have. She's just so thoughtful. So I keep these in here because I don't want it in there and then I forget to use them. So I just keep them set separate so I can be reminded that I have these like new pretty ones I want to use. And that is actually it. That is every single thing I have in here. I'm trying to remember, there's so many pockets I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like what is this? Oh, these are some adhesive tabs I was just cutting. Okay. Um, yeah, I probably put those in there to bring them upstairs, then I forgot to take them out. So that is everything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.